Hello, my name is Linda. You are watching Earth Management TV. The mantra I'll be talking about in this video is happiness is a choice. Now your immediate reaction when you hear that statement, happiness is a choice, is to flat out reject it. It's not true. There's so many bad things that are happening. There's so many things that give me stress and misfortune and suffering. What do you mean happiness is a choice? I feel like happiness is a luxury. Do you feel this way? Well, that's precisely what I'm going to talk about in this video. The reason why we say happiness is a choice is because happiness, like all emotions, are actually more subjective than you think. Even though things might seem objectively happy or objectively sad, it's actually based on how we perceive that thing that makes us interpret it as happiness or sadness. So take for example this hairbrush. If I were to ask you is this hairbrush good or is this hairbrush bad, what would you say? This hairbrush itself is not inherently good or bad. It's how I use this hairbrush, how I interpret this hairbrush that can make it be a good thing or a bad thing. If I interpret this brush as a good thing, I can use it to brush my hair and brush other people's hair and do lots of good stuff with it. However, if I interpret this as a bad thing, I can use it to hurt people with this tool. So just like that, my point is everything in life is a subjective interpretation that we place on an object, that we place on an event that we place on a person based on our own experiences, traumas, memories in life. And the reason why this mantra, happiness is a choice, is so powerful is because it gives you back the power to create happiness whenever you'd like. If I'm somebody who doesn't believe that happiness is a choice and I believe that happiness is given to me by somebody or given to me by my environment, that means I'm always at the whim of something outside of me to give me that happiness. And if that thing outside of me doesn't give me happiness, I'm never going to find happiness or feel happiness. But if I change my mindset and think, okay, if happiness is a choice, then the next step I can go to is how can I use this environment, use this person, use this event to interpret it so that my brain perceives their actions or this thing that's happening in my life as something that is beneficial for me. That gives me back the power to write my own story. That gives me back the power to feel the emotions that I want to feel no matter what is happening around me. So I want you to close your eyes and really say to yourself, happiness is my choice. Happiness is my choice. Happiness is my choice. Now open your eyes and the next time something bad happens to you, then try to, instead of going to that reaction of, oh my God, something bad happened to me. Oh my God, my life is bad like this. Instead of going to that knee jerk reflex, try to take a step back, create some space between you and the thing that just happened and try to say, okay, I know my instinct is to interpret this as something bad, but how can I re-see this from a different angle that could make my brain perceive this as, you know what, it seems like it's bad on the surface, but when I look deeper at a different angle of this thing or this person or this event, I actually can see how this is beneficial for me. And because I can see now how this is beneficial for me, I can say, you know what, even though on the surface it seems like a bad thing that I should be sad about, I can be happy about this thing because I see deeper underneath it's something that is good for me. And I think a person who is able to translate everything in their life that happens this way is somebody who has true mastership of their life and their brain. And the cool thing about that is, is that nobody can take your own mastership of your brain away from you. I think it's a sign of true internal wealth when someone has complete say in how their brain interprets their world so that no matter what is happening around them, they can create happiness and learn to see every situation, every person, everything in a positive light. Now, one word of caution, I don't mean try to glaze over everything as something that's positive and brainwash yourself into thinking everything is positive. That is not my intention at all. My point is, is that everything is subjective. And depending on how I choose to see it, at what angle, it can look good, it can look bad. It all depends on my choice on how to see this thing. That is my point. So if I'm somebody who has a habit 
of always seeing things in kind of a negatively skewed way. Like I always see people in like a negative light. I always see things with suspicion and fear. And I always kind of like analyze and critique in a negative way. If I have that kind of habit, then having the awareness that first of all, I have that habit in the first place. And then consciously trying to shift my perspective so that you know what? I want to be somebody who sees things in a positive way because there's a positive and a negative to every single thing. And it is my choice on which view I choose to focus on. So next time you experience something or see somebody that gives you nothing but suffering and sadness, try to take a step back and think, okay, how can I see this in a positive way so that I can create happiness from my own choice? It takes training, but with practice, it will become more second nature to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Earth Management TV, and I'll see you next time in another Mindful Mantra video. Bye!